Now I'd like to demonstrate a, a different technique that I use, uh, using more of a puncture um, depot technique uh, as opposed to cannulas. This has um, been safe in my hands. Understanding the anatomy is very critical. Uh, and so we're just going to go ahead and use a different technique uh, uh, to augment this cheek now. Again, understanding that we need to avoid the uh, superficial malar area. Uh, as she has existing malar edema, there is both a superficial and deep lymphatic chain. Both need to be intact. And so, although we could come into the prezygomatic space, the deep drainage is in the roof of that space, which would cause further compression and could potentially exacerbate her edema. So, for me, I prefer to stay below that and contour the cheek. And so in this area here, we're going to be on the malar bone. And again, we always withdraw and anticipate where the arterial anatomy is. Serial puncture is, depending on the individual more comfortable. Uh, the reason I say that is because the blunt cannula moves through the tissue and unless it's completely anesthetized uh, will uh, cause some discomfort. The approaching of the uh, orbital, infraorbital artery, we again will withdraw and small volumes in a depot form and once again now we have a blended transition between this malar cheek, the nasolabial fold, and we still need a little volume in this area here. When I need volume in this area here, I do not use the depot technique. I do resort back to the cannula.